Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Book Theater. And one of my favorite parts of covering this whole Star Wars Last Jedi drama now for, for, for over three months, it's been a little bit, a lot of stuff, is the constant somewhat doubling down uh, when it comes to pushing back against criticism, right? And just some of the ways that, that, that not only has Ryan Johnson himself tried trolling fans with the whole Jedi, uh, you know, the, the Path of the Jedi book that's not considered canon, but the fact that you You've got like multiple movie bloggers and people in the in the movie industry that have you know come out in defense of the film and, and doubled down on on any of the critics all being like haters or whatever the hell it is. Um, but it's always funny when you kind of see it directly from the lion's mouth uh, himself, and that of course is uh, in an interview with CNN. Ryan Johnson and Mark Hamill were talking about the criticism. Or well, it kind of came up a little bit here. So it says um, that The Last Jedi did receive some criticism online, even in the Star Wars community. Mark Hamill, fancy that. Criticism online? Unheard of. So obviously setting the sarcastic tone. Uh, looking back, was any of that criticism fair? Johnson, no, no. Hamill, we're happy to ruin people's childhoods. And before you go on, I just, I just want to say, I know that's a joke. I know he's saying it in jest. That is one of those things, though, that I'm, I'm really, really, really fucking tired of hearing. Right. I don't hear anyone saying, you ruined my childhood. Oh, my God. And then I start throwing a damn tantrum like you never hear that. It's always like, look, this is like Ghostbusters did the exact same thing. It's from the exact same playbook. And it's ridiculous. People are not saying you ruined my childhood by offering valid, creative, constructive and even non-constructive criticism when dealing with this type of property because look in the in the case of ghostbusters it wasn't that they you know ruined your childhood those movies didn't go anywhere it's that they took the property that they had gotten access to and they crapped on it right they they tried to create this derivative product that instead of focusing on being something original while still being maybe in the same spirit of what it was that they were going you know they were getting rebooting they literally pulled certain plot points and and jokes and meta humor and shoved it down your throat every 15 minutes on fucking cue. So there's why people were upset about that movie. It wasn't like, you know, no one said that their childhood was ruined. It was just the movie looked bad and it was bad. And the response to that was ridiculous. And seeing it here, even in jest, just kind of makes my blood boil a little bit because it's, it's not an argument. It is simply not an argument. However, Johnson does go on. He says, uh, the thing is, though, uh, no, in terms of, oh, wow, they're right. They shouldn't have done that. But fair in terms of every single Star Wars thing that comes out, every fan has stuff they love, stuff they hate about it. Every movie has its lovers and its haters, every single one going back to the original. It's a bit of a deflect, right? But I get what he's saying there. It's like, is there anything that he has seen in, in terms of criticism surrounding the film that he feels they got right? And he says, no, now that is definitely not the right answer that you ever want to give, um, because this dude is in control of three more films. Now, granted, they're not episodes. They're not dealing with the Skywalker saga. He, he probably won't be able to kill off any other legacy characters, um, or treat them horribly. But, uh, he, you know, the, the fact is that he's sitting there and he's trying to justify this by saying like, look, everyone likes it and doesn't like it. And they, you know, you have both sides. There's a balance, so to speak. Uh, he's saying that that's his justification, but that, that was him trying to explain away the first part of saying like, no, none of the criticism. I saw uh, has made me think that I did anything wrong. And maybe that's his right. Maybe that's his right as a creator, as, as the writer director of this uh, to sit there and say, no, 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 I, I stand by what I made. And I don't think any of the criticism I saw, uh, you know, uh, is, is valid. And that is, n I, I don't know if he's just been coddled too much, but like, look in the YouTube world, People who sit there and act like that, they get called out, like hardcore called out, constantly called out uh, because you've got to be willing to take creative and constructive criticism. Now, I'm not saying you have to listen to every bit of it. And there has been some insane vitriol that has come his way. And and I, I might have added to a little bit of that coming off of my first uh, screening of the movie and just how angry I was uh, seeing it. And it's been a few months and I've toned down since then. And I'm trying to come at it now from a more, I want to say like, even headed perspective or level headed perspective on it. Uh, and I'm trying to understand his motivation. I am, I'm trying to understand Ryan Johnson's motivation, but truth be told, man, it gets a little bit difficult from time to time simply because, 
um, of stuff like this. I, I don't feel that he can sit there and say, uh, no, 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 none, none, none of what they said, even like remotely was right. It, it, it just, it doesn't, you know, you can't sit there and say that and then justify it by going, there are, there are fans and then there are haters, but like everyone's passionate. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just glad like we're all here. Like, dude, there are things people can criticize that, that you should listen to, that you should listen to. And this has more to do, not, 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 you know, nothing with the destroyed childhood stuff, nothing with, with any of that. But what it boils down to is just the narrative structure of things. All right. Like Ryan Johnson is just, if you watch this, sir. And I don't think you do. Uh, you're not a good writer. You're a very good director, but you're not a good writer. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I think I'm an okay writer, but I'm a terrible director. All right. Like, there's you can't do it all. We're not all multi-hyphenates. And, and we shouldn't be multi-hyphenates. And, and for those people who live in Los Angeles, they know what I'm talking about here. You, you meet people that are just, they, they you know, this like, oh, I'm a writer, director, producer, actor, uh, audio guy, graphic artist, you know, editor, all of these multi-hyphenates. And, and, and the writer, director, uh, multi-hyphenate is, is, is generally, it's, it's rare you find good in that in Hollywood. What I would recommend is I would recommend that Johnson bring in uh, someone who's more adept at writing screenplays as a way to help this next trilogy along, because that is going to be the best course of action for him. Uh, it's kind of like Lucas with the prequels, right? Like Lucas is, you know, Lucas's intent with directing was obviously all about green screen and the effects and the big spectacle of it all from, you know, from the late nineties and early two thousands. Um, and, and still, you know, his focus on the script should have been where everything was and have someone else direct it. I think there were similar problems here. I think Ryan was too overloaded uh, because he's just not a good writer and director, but people still give him, give him a chance. And now he's got a $1.3 billion movie under his belt. So the likelihood of that ever being a thing, look, I'm getting off topic here. The point I'm trying to get to is ultimately you should never not take constructive creative criticism to heart. And by going out there and deflecting in it, deflecting from it in the way that you have, and the fact that people have coddled you, uh, shows that you didn't learn anything. And I guess to end it, I'll, I'll say this. If you thought the backlash to The Last Jedi was bad, wait till you release your next one. And if it's even remotely anywhere near as, as this one was, Oh, people are going to let you know about it. And, you know, the thing is when, when there's not an episode nine to look forward to that, that can be fixed somewhat. And it's just whatever it is you've created. Uh, it's, it's, it's going to probably end up going down like the Hindenburg. Uh, I'm just being real. Uh, but the way to fix that is to bring in a writer, listen to constructive criticism and don't go around acting like you're hot shit. Because it bites us all in the ass one way or the other down the road. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, do you think that Ryan Johnson is right? That there is no criticism that he's seen thus far that that's, that should be, uh, you know, should have should have maybe told him that he did something wrong? Flying Leia. Um, or do you think that, uh, that this whole thing's a dumpster fire? And it's going to only be a dumpster fire. Again, it's going to be interesting in the comments. Anyway, be sure to leave them below. My name is, of course, Matt Jarbo. This has been Three Buck Theater. I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a great day and peace out.